Hey, uh, welcome back to Terrapin Station. So, um, during the book launch, one of the things that I came up with was this mad scramble to, um, to find something to, to do, to talk about. Uh, I had the sock puppets debating at one point, and uh, I think they were debating the meaning of life, maybe. I, it's, it's all a blur now. But anyways, one of the things that uh, came up with was letters and notes and memos from the various characters so that you know gave me something to do and to talk about so this is a, a recap and taking a look at uh, at these messages messages from terrapin so this is this is the first one uh oh it's it's from the green lion and uh in Burl, he says uh, i'll do it in the voice hello moss so good of you to write about us I realize it took a lot of time, but the result is most pleasing. It is wonderful to have the world of Terrapin revealed. Hurrah, Inbril. So I guess I guess Inbril has captured the hurrah, right? I'm, I'm channeling Inbril. And uh, it's, it's always cool. Uh, I keep, I'm continuing to write, and it's always great when Inbril shows up and sort of saves the day um, he just sort of brightens up brightens up the scene and uh, yeah so uh, this uh, this next uh, uh, message is from uh, Robert who's one of the the mice one of the uh, uh, it's sort of a wind in the willows where, whereas the green lion is definitely a lion um, Robert and his buddy his other mouse friend uh, Pierre um, are kind of uh, wind in the willows type characters with uh, with they're wearing three piece suits, but they they have mice head and uh, their hands are something like uh, human hands. At times I sort of think, oh, it's masks and uh, gloves, but uh, it wind in, think wind in the willows. Anyways, Mr. Whelan, it needed more cheese. Magnificently, Robert and these two guys are cheeky monkeys and they're very into cheese um, and having fun and uh, lots of silly wordplay and um, jokes. Ah, so this is from Pierre and uh, it says, Mr. Whelan, cheddar please, old and sharp. Most certainly Pierre. So you can see, <laughs> you can see where that's going. Um, grilled cheese. If you like cheese and you haven't tried good grilled cheese, I can, I can recommend that. Okay, so this one, uh, this is from our, um, uh, I guess it would be a henchman. It's uh, the Dodo, and uh, he's writing from the Ministry of Information, and uh, or this, it's on the, the letterhead for uh, the uh, Ministry of Information, and it says, uh, everything about this production undermined the social order. And uh, yeah, he's, 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 quite, he's quite the downer. Um, he needs to uh, change his line of work. Um, he's just making everybody horribly unhappy. <clears throat> and the dodo, the dodo is a dodo. Um, inspired by um, the dodo, the pictures from Alice in Wonderland. I can't remember the, the illustrator's name. I think it was something like Tennyson. And uh, um, that always stuck in my head. It was weird because this hand is emerging uh, from the Alice in Wonderland picture, this hand is merging from the wings, and I think sort of to shake Alice's hand. It's, that always stuck with me. Um, and then, and then too, there's a bit of subtext there and about you know this 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 symbol of extinction now because they're all wiped out, and um, uh, yeah, so there's something going on beneath the surface there. All right, so the next uh, the next note is from uh, Olga, and this is the main character's cousin. Uh, same age ballpark 13 years old and uh, so Olga says dear Mr. Whelan I think it quite impossible that you were able to see and hear as much as you did how did you do it a fan Olga well Olga um, I'm a bit like Santa Claus that way um, less judgmental about my characters and uh, you know, but you know, everybody deserves a good punishing in the story. <laughs> cool for everyone at, at, at some point, you know, at the uh, 
the crisis of their storyline. Oh, so the next one is from our main character uh, herself. And uh, this is from Mool. Dear Mr. Whelan, thank you for writing my story. I had a lot of fun, but it was frightening too. This is true. Will you be writing another story about me? I love Terrapin. Sincerely, Mool. P.S. Uh, but she doesn't leave anything for the P.S. And so, yeah, to answer your question, uh, yes, I, I'm writing another story. Um, it's uh, uh, the process for me, it's less about uh, want. I've actually written a lot of things that, that I wanted to write about, whereas this is where something that I need to write about. And I'm, I always return uh, to Terrapin uh, because um, uh, it's, it's responding to um, uh, something that is, I think, at the heart of um, a lot of people, uh, you know, say issues of uh, yeah, just coping. Uh, you know, it's, you know. Can I explore? Can I um, sort of say communicate? Uh, can I sort of say point the direction and say, you know, hey, let's let's check out this thing. You know, we, you know, why are we why are we investing so much on the outside? You know, let's let's invest something on the inside. So this next one is from Bavard the Cat, and um, Bavard is a very on the fence kind of character. We don't know which which side of the equation he's on. Mm. And he says, it was fine. And uh, that is a very, that is a very fine thing of, from Bavard, who's, uh, who's quite, quite snooty, quite, uh, you know, above it all. I'm, if you haven't met a cat before, <laughs> that's, that's a great note from a cat. It's very, very nice. So this is from our villain. And um, this is from uh, signs at TWB. TW, which is the wound between the world, and this is this is the dragon of the story, and uh, so the wound says horrid disappointment. Oh, I gotta do it in the voice of the, of, of the dragon, which is back in the throat. You know, horrid disappointment, a tragedy in four acts. Fire the writer, sue the publisher. Hate, hate, hate. And so that. Um, that pretty much sums it up for the dragon. Um, very, very against, very against what's happened. Um, ah, but we have the contrasting um, note from um, the uh, the creator of Terrapin, Azim Uh This is straight from the uh, city, the eternal city at the center of Terrapin, and it just says in capitals, perfect. And that's a very great thing to say. So, uh, great. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, thank you, uh, characters, for our, you know, all your messages, you know, good and ill. Um, you know, the, story, the story has been told, and uh, keep up the great work.